My name is Dr. Omoni Yadoye. I'm a filmmaker and a medical practitioner. Please, I want you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Ogongo TV, and also press the notification bell so that you'll be updated anytime we upload new content. This is a channel where you will get fantastic, inspirational, entertaining, and soul lifting Christian content. Thanks so much for doing that. I love you. Ogongo TV. The lead on air. Baba to My dear, you are drunk again. But why? Why, for God's sake? Why do you have to turn yourself to somebody God has not made you to be? Because of situations. Oh, honey, remember, you were the one who first showed me the way of the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> me? <laughs> hey, me? <laughs> I'm not drunk. Now listen, I am. I can never be drunk. Mm. I manage myself by myself. I can't be drunk. Yeah? I'm not drunk. In fact, excuse me. I I want to lie down and I'm not drunk. I'm cool. Oh. Let me help you to the bedroom, no. please. No. Only. Only. 
Honey. Not again. Honey. 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 Oh, Jesus. Not again. Not again. Young pastor, and to repair a Mulena to to a Jelly. Eh, keke rile ita ako wani bata wakè yinye. Ato ti ko anwo polo kon kan wafo ni. Won wan no moto. Eh, ta ba pari olo wa. Eh, a lo ko wa. Inu wadu ba she ri yin lo ni. Eche me kwe bata wakè yinye. She ni eri bakan. Ti mo da bi were. Mo ti ya were gan. Ta di e lo ko. Tori yin mo bi ti yin se mi. Be Kalama Janja, Kurima for me, Kate, de Bami, as I see, as you, eh, Cherry, a shoe knee and Fanica can't do fetch you in you. Oh, what? Lati G, at the Lati Pan. A sour sea or draining to live by you, people so we pay a banu genitio sat or long and not for a pop. It is sat or long. The basic cup, ah. Cherry, <laughs> E mi na le ri lo dure pe in wole si la ke mi ara Olorun wa je o ko jale Evangelist Mm o ma se ko mo alaso to wa ti sa Omo eleran to jegun Ah Agbara Olorun ti kuro nu aye Ogo ati yi ti olorun fi sinu aye yin ti kuro ni irere ti di dakuda lowo yin tori awon kan ibaje te ti towo yin bo emi mo olorun je ko ye mi wipe olorun ti fi gba kan lo yin pupo lati wi ijoba satan ile olorun yin ti lo yin ni opo igba lati la awon ilu koja ti se iya nu sin sele sugbon tori awon ese awon ibanuje te ti towo bo agbara olorun iwa laye olorun o ti kuro ninu aye emi olorun je ko ye mi wi pe eni lo lati tun ona ni se ke pada wa sodo jesu christi ki igbeyin ni ko ba fi leda eyin yin mi ba se se to evangelis she said, I'm not a father, I was on the chase. What's it up? 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 What's Agbara won baba mi ti n gbe ninu oku bo pirin mu pirin mu aye gbogbo awon baba mi ti n gbe ni okurukuru ti won se bi ti n gbe ninu oku ko ta fa sinu mole mo buru kan mo ti wa buru bu kan ni awon la wa iri ti bi kurukuru boju seka e da ku e ba be Jesus, for Bami la wa agbara wa. Ko tu mi la ko no bo bo ajaga ile ti mo fi. Ori ara mi ru yi. O gbe ru o tu mo ti si mi ni ori. Awon baba mi si gbe no ku ko biri mu. Ah! Wa yi. E da ku e ba fe.
too much alcohol in recent time and as as i speak to you it's on the verge of full-blown depression as a matter of fact this alcohol has really affected his system so much and of course coupled with his high blood pressure issue and this has really affected his limbs I'm afraid he might not be able to walk again. No. Hey, but, but no, do no. not worry, do not worry. We'll do our best and see what we can do. Okay? So, Doctor, excuse please. me, please. All I did, all I did, did you hear what Doctor Doctor said? He said you might not be able to walk again. Remember I told you, I want you, I want you, I want you, I told you to stop, the addiction to alcohol is great, I'm done for, I'm done for, I'm done for, oh my god, is my husband not going to work again? Getting better at all. The doctor has just told me bad news about him. See, I'm confused. I don't even know what to do. Could it be true? What? What my husband has been saying yeah. that this man, Mr. Peter, is behind our husband's predicament. Mm, don't give me that. The doctor said his predicament as a result of his addiction. No, don't tell me that. Don't trust man. Okay, what are you now saying? Let me take you to a spiritualist. Yeah? A spiritualist? Yes. On your proposal to build a hospital and a school in the Jelu village. And a school in Orisonbari village. Uh, what about that? His Excellency, the governor has already approved it. And he has given you the go ahead on it. You may kindly pick the letter to that effect. At the governor's office tomorrow anytime. Okay, okay, fine, fine. I will come as soon as possible to come and collect the approval. So, thanks very much. Have a lovely day. Thanks. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ah. Sorry, friend. 
uh, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that we get off of this prayer gate. Mm -hmm. uh, thank God the Lord gives us for the ministry for now. Uh, when we get home, I will discover with my wife so that we will be able to do what is in our capacity to, to stand with you in a time like this. Uh, my utmost prayer is for you to have a quick recovery in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, ma. I really appreciate you. God will continue to bless you and your family. I really, really appreciate you. Amen. 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 Uh, please, I want you to encourage him. Tell him a lot of sweet talk so that give it our Ah, I hope you John. John, how's your family? What's your concern about my family? Please leave my family out of this. You can't have them like you have me. Please. We all know it. John, what do you mean? What do I mean? Are you telling me that I don't know what I'm talking about? You are using our glory for your own word. It's not covered any longer. We know it. Ah, that's an insult on my husband's personality. It is not true, and it can never be true. How can we do such a thing? For God's sake, we are children of God. Children of God, my foot. I know God of heaven will deliver us from your hand. Evil man. Jesus. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lee. Thank you, sir. God bless you, sir. God bless you. You sorry. How are you? Thank you much, Peter. Uncle Joe. Mm -hmm. But what's all this? Those guys are evil. They are evil. God will deliver you people. I thought you had followed them. How will I follow them? Are you sure? <laughs> Officer, I am very sure. More than 100% sure. Ah, this guy is a ritualist. I know him. See, as a matter of fact, we grew up together. His last victim is a friend too. Jide Tejumade is presently on a wheelchair. Ah. Mr. John. Do you have concrete evidences to back all these your claims? What other evidences do you need, sir? This guy will kill everybody. See, his money just came suddenly. The money was so much that he doesn't know what to use the money for. Presently, he's on a project. He wants to build a hospital in Ijelu village and another secondary school in Norisumibari village in the same local government. <sighs> All these missing people are traceable to him. Are you sure? I am very sure. If, as a matter of fact, I wonder why governments do not investigate his work. See, I stand to be corrected. I got to know that he has some political bigwits on his bureau. This man will kill everybody. Please do something fast. Do something fast. That is all right. Mr. John, can you put all these claims and your evidences in black and white? Why not? Why not if not? Can I do it right now? Not here. Not here. Hold on. Officer Kobe. Sir. Yes, sir. Hem, you will go with this man. Let him put all his statements on papers for you and come back to me. Yes, sir. Thank you. You can go. Thank you, officer. Please, I tell you, Richard, arrest him. This man owns all this place? Yes, 
I was told last week one of the workers even died. I suspected he used it. The lady that died for huh? Arrest him. I just go arrest. Just arrest him. Young boy. Young boy. Arrest him properly and do the need. What other investigation do you need? I welcome every one of us to this very important meeting. And uh, everyone who is supposed to be here is here. On my right, we have our royal father, the Valley of Ijelu. My immediate left, I have the representative of His Excellency, the governor of this state. On my right here, I have the DPO, the Divisional Police Officer. Immediately after him, I have the pastor, that is Mr. Peter's pastor. My left here, we have uh, Mr. Jide, Mr. John, and we have uh, Mr. Peter and his lovely wife. Everyone who is supposed to be in this meeting is already here. We have a situation in our hand and is taking a political dimension which we must not ignore. We have the responsibility to resolve this matter before it gets beyond our own control. And as the chairman of this local government, the most senior political office holder here, even if it is not written anywhere, the responsibility is on me to ensure that we live together in peace and harmony and to maintain law and order. That's the essence of this meeting. And I wouldn't want us to waste time. We go straight to the point. The only one here who can help us is Mr. Peter Oluwalubo. And I would like you to please shed light on this mystery so that together we can unravel it. So over to you, Mr. Peter. I want to appreciate everyone for the love you have towards our family. Um, I know there are several allegations levied against against me that I'm into rituals, I'm into money ritual, but the whole story began like this. My two friends and I wanted financial breakthrough. Uh, we visited a spiritualist due to that. The spiritualist asked us to isolate ourselves in different rooms. <sighs> that a spirit will come to visit us one after the other to negotiate with us. And I begin to look at it from another perspective that Am I doing it right? What if this spirit comes to negotiate for our wives and loved ones? Are we going to trade them for money? More so, my inner man kept on convincing me that what I'm doing was wrong. The event in the room where I was isolated led to all this. Every plan of the spiritualists, every evil spirit that may be within the vicinity, I decree by the power of the Holy Ghost, let them be rendered impotent. In the name of Jesus, every plan, every plan, every plan in the heavens, under the water, every plan concerning our lives, concerning my friends, let them be let them protect in the name of Jesus and pray the blood of Jesus. Kini wo se ti wo ero golo ile ma ti fe ma. O ma le wu fe mi ateyi. Awo o ma gbodo to ju ogberi da panu. Eyin da. 
the scripture says, let the high priests of the Lord be in their mouth, and the two angels rose in their hands. He said to us, he could break theirs upon the earth. He said to bind their king with chains, and their noblemen with fetters of iron. Let every nobleman of the earth let them be bound with fetters of iron. In the name of Jesus, give him a Give him a Upon the wicked, he shall rain, fire, brimstone, and honorable temperance. So shall be the portion of their corpse. In the name of Jesus. What kind of spirit lives in these people you call spiritualists? They don't have mercy. Abi? Men you buy the pastor. Go see pastor. After a while, I fell into a trance. <laughs> Peter, oh. Peter, Baba. why did you decide to exchange your life with riches and luxuries of this world, which your heavenly Father, your Creator, has in abundance? And you decided to allow the rivers of this world to carry you away. Okay, take this Bible and open to the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verse 11. He make all things beautiful in his time. He set the world in his heart so that no man can find out what he make it from the beginning to the end. Peter, can't you see that you are faithless? You don't have faith at all. If you observe the verse you have just read, you will note that your time of glorification is here. If you look at the book of Esther, you will see that another decree was issued in favor of the Jews as against the decree of Ammon. And this decree was issued when the Jews did not expect. Therefore, I encourage you and urge you to wait for God's time and believe that whatever the devilish spiritualists are said against you will not stand. Baba, I'm sorry. Please, have mercy on me. I'm sorry for my faithlessness. And I promise to wait for God's time. I promise, Baba. Oh. I was in a great dilemma. I don't know what to do. I know the path I'm trailing was wrong in that revelation. When I got home, I confessed to my wife and we concluded on going to pastor's house. Daddy, we are very sorry for disappointing you, sir. Deeply disappointed, to say the least. That 
slew a committed and devoted worker in this church. You could go astray and take this step. Go outside the household of God to seek, to, to seek a help. With all the word of God that you have heard over the years, I'm disappointed. And I should appreciate my sister. That means if not for her, if not that she insisted that you must come here and make confessions, you wouldn't even have come. Have you forgotten that the Bible says, whoever hides his sin will not prosper? I should appreciate my sister for this bold move. Ah, oh, Jesus. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. I mean, if you, a committed member of this church, for several years, could take this step, how much more other members of my church that are not as committed as you are? You have sat under the word of God. You have listened to the word of God for several years. You have been fed with the word of God for several years, and yet you still went astray. How much more those Sunday Sunday Christians that just come to church on Sundays? Oh, Holy Spirit. I have a lot of work to do. Even I cannot wash myself from this claim. I mean, how can I sit down as a pastor and on that shepherd? I have the responsibility of protecting the flock of God in my care. And in my very presence, a wolf is coming in to, to drag out members under my watch. That means I've not been careful. I have not been sensitive enough. I have not been loving enough. I have not been caring enough. Oh, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, forgive me. You see, a lot of us run when nothing is chasing us. You are running from pillar to post because you have some challenges at your workplace. But this is a general problem. It's a global problem. I mean, virtually all the countries of this world are facing economic recession, economic meltdown, and depression. I mean, it's not, it's not your personal problem. Even advanced countries, they carry up retrenchment, they are laying off their workers. You are not, you are not the only one facing this problem. It is always one imaginary enemy or the other whenever we have problems. Look, I'm not trying to say that there are no enemies. There are enemies. But a lot of times, some of the challenges we face are caused by our own inadequacies. By our own ignorance. We are going to embark on spiritual warfare. We are going to embark on series of prayer and fasting so that the Lord can rechannel our paths according to his master plan. I'm going to join you in this series of prayer and fasting and I'm sure that God will manifest himself in your lives. Amen. And he will turn your lives to testimonies. On the second day of that fasting, the Lord revealed a message to the pastor, which he conveyed that message to us. These are the things God showed me concerning you. Bro, Peter. Sir. You see, God said you have to leave your current job because it has no future. And for a while, you have to rely on your wife for sustenance. 
until the plan and purpose of God manifests in your life. I believe that your success will be true modern method and that knowledge and information management will be key to your success. You see, I had a dream and in the dream I saw two people sitting at a table <laughs> and the two people happened to be you. In the first one, I saw you with a pack of files. You were working on the file vigorously. You were sweating profusely. Yet you were not making any meaningful progress. And beside you was uh, victuals as food. You had victuals as food. But in the second one, I, I saw you with a writing pad, a pen, and a laptop. And you see, actually you were working on your laptop smiling and you were making very very good and wonderful progress and uh, beside you you had a very rich plate of food very rich <sighs> um, my dear brother you see you need to seek the face of god for direction and i trust god to direct you in jesus name Then, finally, my brother, this wonderful plan God has for you, you have to conceal it. Conceal it. And wait for God's appropriate time to manifest. Don't reveal this plan of God to any man. At the right time, God himself will make it manifest. The Lord will bless you. It is well with you. I followed all the directives. I resigned from my job. People thought I was foolish. After that, whenever my wife goes to her teaching job, I will be the one to do the house choice read books, browse to the internet. But on that face today, I stumbled on a website that teaches on now to write proposals and to seek for a job after writing the proposal. And that was how the whole thing began. I took a webinar course and I went on to field work to do more research. After the, the field research, I made some business concepts of which uh, a foreigner got in praise and was interested in that. After many chats, the man paid me handsomely and that was the beginning of many doors that God opened. I have the evidence, I have a lot of documents to that effect with me. If you want it, I'll bring them out. Is that the reason why we meet you on the computer every time we come to your house? Uh, the white man made me the project director and he decided to build one of the offices in Nigeria. He only visited Nigeria for about four times. After the business, he discovered that we earn a lot of profits. And it made me one of the one of the stakeholders of that same company. And we make a lot of money, of which I invested that money that needed a lot of I mean a lot if you look at the business I'm running now, it runs to millions of naira. So that was how the whole thing started. 
the the idea of building a church, school, and hospital was just an inspiration of giving to the society what the Lord has really given unto me. We are giving it back, and the company has also aided us to do that. Um, I have spoken with other directors so that the vision can see the light of the day, of which they responded well to, to that effect. Oh, the devil is wicked. Peter, please forgive us. But I try to explain to you. But you were not giving me audience to, to do that. Ah, please, everyone. Let me beg my friend. We are, we are very sorry. Please forgive us. Please forgive us. I have forgiven you, but it's not easy. Is it the humiliation or what I've been through all in the course of this? I really thank God I appreciate my wife. If not for her, I don't know. But I just pray that she will turn back to God and ask Jesus for mercy so that Jesus will also save you. You will discover that in Jesus I have everything. In Jesus there is money. In Jesus there is abundance of life. In Jesus there is joy. You find joy in Jesus. Anything aside Jesus is meaningless. I want you to go back to Jesus so that Jesus can reshape on your life. So that your life can have meaning. And that was the bedrock of my world. Mr. Peter, I must confess your story beats my imagination. And uh, it made me remember my own case some time ago, but it's not for this meeting. We need to talk. Yes, sir. We need to find time to talk. We have a lot in common. And I want to assure this meeting that the outcome will be communicated to His Excellency the Governor. The insinuation around was that the Governor was involved in some ritual, some unprinted matters. But now this meeting has brought everything to the light. And I want to reassure everyone here present that the true outcome of this meeting will be communicated to His Excellency. And I want to thank everyone for making this meeting a success. This is another remarkable achievement by all of us. We are all responsible for our own well-being. Nobody is going to do that for us. This meeting has been able to resolve this riddle that we've all been grappling with. Thank you very much. I appreciate your presence. Your Excellency. All right, sir. Your Excellency, let's talk to you. Hello? Your Excellency. Yes, sir. We are still at the meeting, sir, but everything is resolved. No, no, not at all, sir. You are not indicted in any way, sir. In fact, first thing tomorrow morning, I will report in your office to give you a full briefing. R right here, sir. It's also here, sir. O okay, I will come in his company, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thanks, Your Excellency. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Your Excellency. Please hold on, sir. All right, sir. Thank you, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, on this note, it's my joy to tell every one of us that it has been a very rewarding meeting. As you can all see, I spoke with His Excellency the Governor, and he was happy with every one of us. And uh, I have promised that I will see him first thing tomorrow to give him details of this meeting. I want to appreciate what you have done and I want to assure you that history will never forget this contribution that you have made to this local government to ensure peace.
On this note, I want to thank everyone for finding time to be here and I pray that each and every one of us will return to our destinations safely. Thank you very much. Yeah, this time. Sherry, Ah, 
Stress, GD. Suppose you have informed me so that I can send one of my vehicles to pick him up. Please, you don't need to stress him. No, actually, Peter, we we decided that we needed to calm down ourselves to apologize for our ignorance. We have done so many bad things, and we feel we need to come and apologize. Please, forgive us. We are truly sorry. We are sincerely sorry for all our wrongdoing. We realize we, are, we have offended you. We have, we have wronged you. We blackmailed you, lied against you. We went as far as sending Uglos to harass and to embarrass you. We have wronged you. We are so sorry. We are so sorry. I, I have forgiven you. But I really appreciate God because the Lord did not allow the evil plan of the spiritualists to come to pass in our lives. You see, one of my utmost joy and my prayers is for Jide to rise up from this wheelchair and walk so that we can rock things together, so that we can do the way we usually do. That would be my prayer. Um, and another prayer is that the Lord will turn all our captivity around and laughter we feel about. Mm. Don't worry, don't, don't worry guys, we are together. Thank you very much. Come on, Thank you very much. come on, come on my <laughs> Don't worry, we need to celebrate it. This call for celebration. Come, just a minute. Time for celebration. No, 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 no. Don't tell me it is what what I'm thinking. I hope it's not G. Not. <laughs> Come on, guys. Yeah. That is how we rest it up. Yeah or not? Think of that. <laughs> <laughs> so just Wow. Wow, guys. Wow. This time around. Jesus has done them all. Is it money? Is it frame? Want to travel to anywhere? God is on the throne. We don't need to stress ourselves. The essence of God blessing any one of us is for the three of us to be blessed. Mm. Don't worry. Jesus is on the throne. <laughs> wow. Okay? Ah, uh -uh. it's no longer your silence. It's mine. Let me take my job. Thank you. 
Hello, hello, friends. Hello. Fine, 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 fine. Good news, friend. Good news, friend. Good news. Good news. Please, please, please. Can you just tell me? I can't wait to hear it from you. Rita, can you believe this? That interview I went for sometimes ago, before we went to see the spiritualist. You remember? That was the national company. They asked me to come and receive on Monday. Great! 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 This is Jesus! This is Jesus! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! You know, Beautiful, beautiful benefit. Ah, this is good. Friend, this is very, very good. At this call for celebration. And we all understand that it is God that has done it. No man except God. And it's also marvelous in our sight. We are going to celebrate it in a big way. All glory will be given to Jesus. All right. Ah, over here. Ah, this is great. Hello? 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 Ah. Oh, this is a good news. Yeah? Yeah? What are some things I'm going to Lift me leg. Okay? Great. Take another step. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Alright. Do it again. Lift it. Move this. Oh, great. Leave me. You just leave me. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Give me another one, please. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Move, move on. Come on, move. Move, move, move. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, no, 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 leave me. Honey. Just leave me and Jesus. <laughs> Jesus is doing it. Okay, go on. Hallelujah. 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 Oh. Hallelujah. Oh, my dear. I have you back on your soon bed. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, honey. Ah. So there is new life in Christ Jesus. Oh God. Honey, you can do it. Come up, come up. Come up. I shouldn't touch you. Good. Come, come. Ah. By next week, you should be fit enough to attend the interview. The yeah, job yeah. interview. Praise God. Praise God. Lift your leg. Jesus has been nailed in you. Lift it. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Honey. Ah. Jesus, don't let you see. Come on, come on. Hurry.
ओ 